Welcome back, guys, to Nino Kuni as we go to head out and ring the clarion and clear out the miasma marshes of the deadly miasma. First of all, it's always pertinent before we go on another leg of the journey. See what Old Father Oak has to say. Hello, Old Father Oak. Ho ho, here you are again. How very nice to see you. How goes your journey, hmm? Tell me all about it. Ho ho, so the clarion is reborn. It sure is. Leaves of the three kingdoms all work together to make it. Yeah, they played their part, I suppose. But mostly it was the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, Knack for Diplomacy made it happen. Mr. Drippy, how could you say that? Oh, oh, oh my, my. So, Oliver, soon you will face him at last. Yes. We cannot know what awaits you. Let me give you a word of advice. You must never give up hope. Hope will always defeat despair. When despair is defeated, truth can shine forth. Ooh, that is mysterious. There is no mystery. Just do as you have always done. Stay pure of heart, and you cannot fail. I will, old Father Oak. I will indeed. So let's head off. Whoever it is we're supposed to be going, actually, let's vacate the area. And then check out the world map. Where is our destination? Can we just fly there, or do we have to go there through other means? Let's see where the star leads us to, eh? Far, far away. Do -do -do -do. Come, Tengri. Now we can view the whole world map, it's over there again, so let's just fly straight over. I'm just wondering if it's some place we've already visited, some place we can get on foot, if you know what I mean. We flew over it enough times after all. So where is this? Can we actually land here? No, we can't, so let's follow the trail. To a little back hole in Perdida. Okay, then. Can we get... Well, can we get there from here? I, I just don't know. We couldn't land. The path was too small, that's for sure. Sorry, Derwin, we haven't got what you need just yet. Kulan, do you know where we may go? Well, the thing says go this way, so straight through. So the clown is complete, and it is only a matter of time before the Veil of Miasma is parted. Indeed it may be, but follow the objective marker. Follow it indeed. Don't know why I didn't try to go out here before. And here we come, down to the Miasma Marshes, it seems. Monsters in our path as well. Hello, sirs. Come fight me. It's been a long time since we've really engaged in out and out battle. Ex girlfriends. Oh no. The worst kind. They're going to kill us. Flay us alive. Tomorrow, sort it out with your really quick, wicked attacks and hopefully they don't do any kind of weird AoE damage. They seem to just hover slightly away from Moro, so some of the attacks generally miss. Slamanda! Nice. Got you, sir. Moro is Queen Pirate! Nito. Nothing can defeat her. In fact, she'll level up as well. Thanks for the fight! Moro reaches level 26. Evasion and accuracy are going up quite a bit. Moro learned Razzle Dazzle. Continue to head down then. Excuse me, sir. You're probably going to roll into me. Fire fright. We're under attack. You look very beastly now, sir. We can't use Mighty because he is of an element that would not well. It would conflict fire weapon on fire thing. Get out there, more. We've got a hot half owl. This looks like it's going to hurt. Complete this damage on all of us. Nasty, nasty guy. Healthy glow, yes, start casting that. Massive bits of healing. A golden glim? Oh, get, get the golden. Yes, good. I feel all my HP, lovely. Florongo levels up as well. Go, go, congratulations to you. Your stat gains aren't exactly that impressive right now, but we finally head in, it seems, the Miasma Marshes.
So this is it, huh? The Miasma Marshes. It ain't the most welcoming place in the world, is it? Holy boy, I can hardly see the light from my own flipping lantern. Well, here goes. the perfect moment to make things clear. <laughs> Indeed it is, Master! Ha ha ha! Show it to him! Show him how cruel the truth can be! <laughs> Your wish is my command! <laughs> the one who heals the brokenhearted, the savior, of this world of sadness. Are you really the one? <laughs> well then, show me. Show me the true power that dwells in your heart. <laughs> the Miasma Marshes. Now we can cross them. He's up ahead, Annie! Yes, he's waiting. Shada. As we enter them, probably the quagmire of corruption. A deathly place it looks. The creepy trees all around. Let's check out the map, see how far we have to travel. Quite a ways, it seems. Quite a ways. And I'm not sure exactly how the trees reacting might tie into this. Maybe just alert monsters. Maybe just to creep us out, but near by chests are now visible on the map. We're not gonna miss any of them. We want these purple chests. That's for sure. Vampire bed and some boogie woogies. Get out there, mighty boy! I don't like the crazy amount of spells they just hit me with there. Now we're confused as well or something? We're completely disabled it seems. Can't move, can't do anything, just stuck here. And probably not a good idea to give Oliver back the power? No, he's actually just switched back out and is perfectly fine. Good, good, good. I'll keep running away with you and possibly heal you up, Esther. <laughs> Seems like magic is brilliant. Oliver's going right to work there. But again, it's not exactly the best idea to be fighting we with won. Oliver when you generally will take more damage than the familiars. Great being able to cast the powerful spells, but it'll take more damage as a risk. Another iron diamond, we'll take that. Hopefully we'll get ourselves quite a few materials here. Do any chests? Aha! Green chest? No purples, just the green. Oh, you mean poison? Okay. Don't step in the puzzles is kind of one of the words of wisdom we gotta go in here. Can we draw poison away? Yes we can. Right, got to watch out for the puddles as well. To add to our complications, why don't you? There's definitely more chests on the map than the one that's shown over there. A purple chest just over here, a red chest possibly up there. Let's go. More enemies to defeat. Could go with Volley Boy, but 
go with you stupidly overpowered. Look at that stupid damage, it's ridiculous. We use actual extra accuracy as well now. We can actually hit some monsters from time to time. Now that one's just been set to fly. May as well get Esther on the job here. Leave it to me. Tame the boogie woogie, eh? Come on guys, get it work. It's only one more hit. May as well tame the ones we don't have. But of course raising them from scratch is the best way to have them statistically. Just in case one of them happens to be what Derwin needs. A full level up for Swain's party there. The fairy can start getting some stats as well, hooray! And the twos start to happen on Jack now, great! I still want to see bigger stats come out for him. Keep the boogie woogie, sure. What do we call it? Woo 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 pee wooster. He's a wooster. Okay, there's definitely a red chest up over there. No pathway onwards. We'll take the chest though. Hopefully he doesn't have a trap inside it or something like that. No, an espresso. Lovely coffee restoring our magic. Lovely, lovely stuff. We don't want to miss that purple chest, but it seems... Is that in the middle of the marshes or which way do we have to go to get to that? That's a question in and of itself. Because there was two splits starting off anyway. There's another chest over there. Is that a blue chest? I think it is. Is he coming for us or not? Ah! Better turn around. Oh, because the effects of ch chest wore off, the monsters stopped dead. No slacking, you lot. Highly confusing, wouldn't you say? Take out the girl fiend. Seems like a spellcaster after all. I'm trying to nix me or whatever it is you're doing. It seems key tomorrow. And keep them well staggered with a quick attack rate. I wouldn't mind helping though, thank you. Better luck next time. I just love Mora for a quick attack speed. Especially the fact that she's still leveling up quite fast and getting nice stats when she does. Alright then, let's find out what's in this blue chest. We got ourselves a set of dead man something? Duds or something? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's probably Lamal armor. No! Completely wrong. Alright then, maybe something for you, fairy? Oh, you haven't even got any gear on? Definitely Dead Man's does that. Renders knockout attacks ineffective. Now, it's got really good general standard defense, but doesn't give any magic defense extra. Or something more balanced like that would probably be better. I will just give you the Dead Man's duds. And also, what kind of spear will we give? The Royal Spear is generally quite good, but that has an element to it. It's a little bit better, the Royal Spear that we made. And what else here? Deflects damage back onto the attacker. Resistances. Doesn't really give her enough resistance though. We'll go with that. It's fine, fairy girl. We're fully equipped again. It looks like we have to go over the poison to get further on that route. With that mine, let's try and head back a little bit, but same exact thing for here. It's got to be a route that we don't have to walk over the poison, or we could just levitate over it, maybe. Doesn't seem like a bad idea in itself. We can't just move to the purple chest, so let's go back and round. Make sure that we pick everything up, eh? The monsters in here don't seem too much of a challenge for us. Okay. Poison yet again. So we're going to go to draw poison, and then we're going to levitate and see if it instantly reapplies. But if we're off the ground, I think we're safe, aren't we? Allow them to float harmlessly over traps, but well, we don't want them to necessarily do that. Just float us over the evil poisons would be brilliant. Right, there seems to be... Oh, hello. An extra pathway going downwards. There's going to be massive amounts to Come on! explore here and carry on my wayward son. Hello. 
Shopper popper. Take you out. I don't know what the lawyer with sun's weakness is now, not water, I'm guessing. Let me take out the sharper pumper. Oh, the darkness beckons. Go, go, dodge. It's to kill. Oh, no, not so much. What? Use healthy go on yourself. Really good. Even Jack's out here for battling. So is he getting finally good stats? Is he finally getting to the point in time where using him isn't such a bad idea? Mighty levels up with Swain as well. Mighty has been so overshone by our little Moro Kitty. You caught me in a back attack? That's from the side, sir. No slacking, you lot. Ooh, attack me. Time to run away. Draw them off my friends. And it seems I'm getting hit by a fair few attacks here, so let's bring out you, and you can just take them on the chin. Ow, sir. The big spell attacks still do crazy damage. It may go wild, but it doesn't really mean anything if someone uses something like that. That's a new spell, and man, these guys actually do do a fair bit of extra damage here. Yeah? First time I've seen him use the dragon in a while. Uh, Esper. Might be good to pull you out of here. Healing rain, great! I don't know why I was completely frozen by then. Ollie's getting onto the healing. You guys need to do some attacking, not in that fashion, so, madame. I think it's better if I just go. Oh, oh, I better dodge that, first of all. Still got hit by it. Slamander is kicking me around. Time for a massive heal, but I'm stuck on the spot here, it seems. Get out there, Mark. Try to stop these guys not being alive anymore. Knock them into the other dimension, as it were. And my attack blunted, which is never good. Thank you, we just barely got out of that one. Right, a nasty combination of spells and AoE attacks leads to general damnation for our party. Not even much experience or anything to get out of it. Right then, what's along this pathway? Seems to be its own secret route or something. A Sharpie Papa, there's definitely a chest over here. I have to use chart chess again here. Definitely new monsters all around. We'll take them on as we see them. We've got to level up and we've got to be able to fight off their abilities and generally learn what's best to use against them. Right, Frieza. Use your abilities. Shorten the overall duration of this battle. I'm not falling for that one. Even though I take one damage, I can't actually hit them to finish them off. And then all of a sudden, monsters come flying around all over the place. And we win. Okay. Crazy. And he levels up as well for his troubles. Nice one, Freezer. Lots of extra stats. You're metamorphable, but you still got an ability learning at level 16 there. As Oliver leveled up, his magic pool's completely full. Great! Okay, we got a fruit flan here. We need to definitely levitate again. We can't move around this place without levitating. Too dangerous otherwise. Now, how to get to that purple chest? There's several different pathways here. Blue chest over there, but we can't head that way. Well, it is pretty much a horrible, treacherous location. Kind of what we expected. There's a red chest over there. 
Shopper Poppers and ex-girlfriends. Girl fiends. I hate them all. Don't beat up Moro, everyone! Someone attack the other guy, so Moro doesn't have to take all the damage, that would be brilliant. The Knan is always good for that kind of cause, though. Usually keeps everyone on him. Tanks like a boss. Another level up for Morrow. Fairly nice stat gains as well. Always two on the defences. Would like a little bit more magic defence on her, though. Right, we saw a red chest over there. It seems the route to go for this is this way. Or not. What on earth is going on with this place? Seems the chests keep disappearing as we go here. Well, red chests aren't so important. They usually have just things like flans and whatnot. The no blue ones and the purple ones are the ones we got ahead for. Ow! I don't think Esper's going to survive this. Just managed to keep Esper up, but now Swain's the problem. Hopefully they all came to me because of my massive heal. Don't get hit there, Swain. I can heal you, but now I'm in trouble. You guys are gonna have to do some damage. Right, guys, um... You only take one damage, which is probably my only chance to stay alive right here. Use this. Try to get some down and get some green glims. No, I mean, unconscious. No, back. Can't defeat them, guys. Yes, good. Oh, no, this is looking bad. Yes, hit him. Good. Nice Healing hand cast as well. Hopefully, my HP is being completely filled up. Well, that's a waste of 18 MP. These battles are a lot harder than the ones we've been having recently, that's for sure. No, it did not heal me up full. I hope it didn't take my mana then. Probably cast heal in that kind of situation rather than healing hand for the big, big, massive heal. I probably should stop letting them hit me in the side for the upper hand attack. Your chances, do you? Alright guys, come after me. Esfer, do not instantly die. Alright, let's try and defeat this Slamander as fast as possible. Wait, you stole the Cold Stone? That's great. Mora knows how to put them down quite fast. Esfer healing her full HP, that's brilliant. And we just let more go to work. A little pirate kitty. Nice work. Definitely seems like leading with more at the moment with her quick attack speeds and staggering is pretty much only our best option. We only reached level 20 and Jack reached level 35 again with only the plus one stats. But I have been assured that I made the right choice in evolution. So the purple chest is somewhere down there now. Levitate yet again. Forcing our way through this place is hard enough. Right, no purple chest here, so it's probably around there. You're going to attack me, sir, so I've got you, no problem. Here we go. There we go, indeed. Right, how much magic do I have? I start off with an ear splitter. I'll cancel the hot huff being cast by little. Sun Man over there, so that's good. Sun Man cast the spell. Oh no, I'm confused. Not so much anymore, but I wish that guy didn't cast his AOE attacks, that's for sure. I'll take the magic and all that, though. We won! It splits is a good way to start off a battle. I guess the MP we're using when we do that is quite high.
Right, elusive purple chest. We've got you at last. It took a while, but we found the way. We obtained a suit of knight armor. So hopefully that's a really good upgrade. Of course, there's only two people, actually only one person that can wear that. It's you, sir. Upgrade? It is indeed, but we got the accuracy down again only by a little bit, it seems, over the enchanted armor. It's generally got a lot better defense, but not resistances. So I'm going to keep them on for now, because at the moment, his defense is usually quite good. I mean, he usually does one physical damage to him. So we don't really need to use that that much. Or at least in my state of mind. Ah, oh, Slamander's sharp and powerful ex girlfriends. I hate you all. You've got to remember this girl fiend after all. Slamander hardly took any damage there. But come on, them out. Finish off the. Oh, just managed to get out of darkness beckons there. And I'll take the extra orbs. Thank you. We won! And for the morrow. Book Nala levels up to level 30. Curse be gone, Moondrop, and Planet Crystal. Loving the stat increases he gets at the moment, though. Right, excuse me, sir. Don't know what kind of chest that is over there. Chuck these chests once again. Now visible. It seems our destination is nearly reached. Though the green chest is over there as well, so we need to get round there. Only a red chest here. Never takes worn off at the worst time because it means we can't open the chest. There's a blue chest all the way over there. Green chest, come here. The Miasma marshes—they prove trialing and troublesome. Throughout an entire time here, you can run straight past me because you're not going to actually come the right way. You though, however, preemptive attack. Really should have been the thing we were aiming for all the time is to preemptive everyone. If I didn't get caught in so many back attacks, or side attacks as I put it, we wouldn't have been so bad off. Hey Mario, you've got to finish the way with Sun before you can actually do anything. Do not let him cast the Sun spell. Good. May as well go for the nearest target, though the nearest target came as far away as the other one. I love keeping Gogo -Go topped up with magic. This is the best scenario to let Gogo -Go be the healer. Easy. I'm really not sure why Swain keeps using our fairy for melee type damage. Or is familiar choices really that underwhelming right now? And where are we heading next? Green chest, probably up here. And round to the left. It seems we got a... Ah! Green chest. Now how do we reach you from here? I guess we go right to the lip here. Indeed we do. Once we can get to work, though we are levitating at the moment. We got ourselves a bottle of Sprite Jew. No problem at all. Excuse me, but don't back attack me. You swooped round me to deliberately get a back attack. Cunning of you, sir. Fancy your chances, do you? Now we're in trouble, however. Especially with such abilities that that you like you use. You need to stop me. And hurt quite a lot. So the curse be gone is really good, but I guess we'll just have to take out the ex-girl fiend and hope that Esper can survive. So not big Nana! Oh, take that, Esther. Take that. Now you've got yourself your own healing. You can heal me as well if you like. Take any of the magic you like, guys. I'm trying to give you magic so you can manage your own healing. Amal levels up once again. I'm not sure why he's so underwhelming to use at the moment. He's not being used by Swain or anyone. First use other things. Mario, our go-to kitty. 
As long as they don't gang up on me like that, anyway. Thanks for all the heals. I think we need all the heals. Swain's gonna go down, I'm pretty sure. Okay, they've both gone down. I can't get the Golden Glim. There's no way for me to capture this guy. I'm gonna let me use Inner Strength, however. The worst situation is occurring. Okay, I'm just getting knocked about here and attacking the wrong guy. This is not good with both of them on me. Right, let's see if I can cast, keep the distance and cast myself some spells here. That didn't go too well. I wasn't able to take people out. At the speed I needed to in order for this to not go horrifically. And we nixed them both. They can't cast spells on me, which means they have to chase me physically. Does Arrow of Light them, possibly? Fortune's full? No, we want to use that. Slamander's a bit low on the HP. I'm pretty sure getting more out yet. Well, we can always get out Super Guy at some point in time. No, I'm going for the wrong target again. I cast Inner Strength, but I never even got to use the attack bonus. Finally, Mario's cutting through them. Great. Phew, tense battle. Not so good. Yeah. Letting Swain and Esper go down to try and knock someone out as fast as possible. This is what happens when you start running with a party with no mana at all. So we barely survived that battle. Better heal people up and end this episode here. So join me next time for more Nino Kuni. So we head properly for the Miasma Marches. We're already at the end. So let's just get there. Join me next time. Bye-bye.